So recently I saw a video on how to get under the map and while you're under the map you can literally build above caves and kind of on the entire outline of the caves. So that is my plan today. I'm going to be building a base pretty much underground breaking literally every rule the game has. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be able to do this. All I have to say is I suggest you guys not to do this. Um, I don't know if any of the materials or like the chest or anything I put down there once this gets patched all of that stuff is probably going to be you know lost into the void as well as I might get stuck down there I really hope I don't get stuck down there because if I get stuck down there and I have no way to get out um, my world is is no longer playable I, we, we just we just gotta be careful but I do have a little bit of materials on me I do need to sort my inventory a little bit but once I get all of the materials and tools I will need I'm gonna go down into the caves and we can kind of check out the area where we're like gonna start this thing and yeah this this might be a really good idea or a really bad idea it's just there's one way to find out so there we go I got all of the materials I will need and I'm not gonna bring like everything I need right now I want to get down there first and kind of see how I'm able to get in and see if it's easy enough to get in and out and like just make sure I'm not fully trapped down there so I don't want to bring like a whole inventory of materials but what I also ended up doing as well is making a new sword and an axe because both of those were pretty new I just made new ones so I kept the enchantments on my other ones but we do have a cave literally right outside of my main village which is super nice so I'm just gonna fly over here and I mean I guess we can just enter right away and see how this works but also guys I bought the new skin in the item shop I feel like this guy looks so cool so let me know what you guys think about this skin I think it's super cool and if any of you guys are getting it Make sure to use code 5050 in the item shop. It's F-I-F-T-Y-5-0. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, I think he's pretty cool. But now it is time to enter the cave. And I will show you guys how to do this. And once again, be careful when you do this. I cannot stress this enough. And I forgot to make torches. I literally meant to make torches. Okay, I'll be back. All right, I'm finally back in the game. And that means we can go into the cave. Hopefully this time I'm actually in the cave. And I, the game did restart. Okay, I do have my torches. I was going to be a little upset if I had to go all the way back and make new torches. But we are in the cave. And... And I think this cave is pretty small. It should allow us to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish here. So it should just allow us to honestly, probably up here would be best if I come right up here and then I will end up making like a little area so I can like walk over into this wall. But I'll show you guys literally how to do it. I'm not telling you guys to do this. If you guys somehow lose your world because of this, uh, it's not my fault. You know what I mean? So all you have to do is, you know, find a wall just like any wall on the outside side of a cave and all you do is jump in the bed and it should put you behind the uh the cave so now we should be able to jump out and um i might have i might have did it in the wrong spot uh yep so it looks like i did it in the wrong spot but luckily if we just place a bed over here i can just end up sleeping in this bed and get out very quickly just like that and i should be able to jump out okay there we go so i think that wall right there it's not actually like a wall that goes to the outside of the cave it's just like a kind of like a filler wall so if we do it over here this should definitely allow us to get outside so i'm gonna assign bed and jump out and once we jump out i should be somewhere okay okay so we're a little bit closer to being outside of the map i'm gonna end up breaking this and now we can fall down and there's literally a wall right here i can't run like you can see yeah i'm, I'm stuck in the wall but we can do even more so unfortunately this camera angle is a little messed up but it should work so if we go like this place the bed just like that and now we can sleep in the bed once again and we can jump out Okay, okay, jump out, and there we go. Oh my gosh, guys, look! Okay, okay, we are one step closer once again. We are super, super close, but we have one more wall we have to get through. But, I mean, as you guys can tell, we are literally, like, so close to being outside of the map. But we have to do it one more time. So, I think if I go, I, I need to figure out how I can kind of make it where it's going to push us above. And if I were to go up here, it would probably be best. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up breaking this bed and I'm going to build some staircases going all the way to the roof. When we get all the way to the roof, I should be able to just place a bed at the very top. It should just like glitch me up top. So let me quickly place down all of these. And it is getting a little hard to see just because I think the game doesn't know what's going on fully. But now I should be able to just place like a bed right there and then sleep in the bed. Okay, we're sleeping in the bed, and oh my gosh, there we go. Like, guys, look at this. Okay, okay, okay. I really don't think I'm supposed to be down here. I, like, what is going on there? Okay, if you have epilepsy, look away. It's a little, a little hard on the eyes, but guys, 
We are literally under the map and all of those boxes you are seeing are actually caves so like there's a snow cave right there a snow cave over there and just so many different caves all around us which I, dude this is wild but i think it is now time to start building and a big thing i need to figure out is um whether or not i if i fall off if i just like end up falling forever or if i eventually die which if that happens where i just fall forever like it's literally ggs and i gotta go to another world i really don't know what i'm gonna build but i mean i definitely want to build something and i wonder if i can actually build prefabs up here oh my gosh i think i can wait i think you actually can dude i can build a i can literally build all the prefabs up here i can do whatever i want Okay, this is actually so, so cool. But guys, look at this. Literally look up there. We can see, we can see the rainbow. This looks so crazy. Oh my gosh. But I keep getting distracted. I do want to build a base. So one thing I think we should end up grabbing is definitely some floors and make this area just a little bit bigger. So, you know, we have a little more room to start actually building. Okay, so we're at six by three right now. Honestly, I could make it pretty big. I could do like a six by five maybe. So... Yeah, we'll do a six by five just for like the starter house. And I, I think I'm going to end up building this and kind of see like, you know, how the village is turning out. And then we'll kind of go from there. What I also need to end up doing is maybe placing some campfires around to, you know, give this place a little bit of light because it is pretty dang dark. So I'm going to end up placing like both of those down like that. And I also think I am going to end up maybe blocking this off as well just because it is so bright. It like gives me gives me uh, epilepsy. I think that's the word. I'm honestly not too sure, but I can make a little, a little area around it and make it like a uh, like a campfire or something. You know, um, I think that would I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me grab some half walls, and I think half walls will be like the perfect height. Okay, so I placed the walls all the way around, and then I made these little walkways going up. And I guess it's like a little like pool or something. I honestly don't know. I just feel like it looks a little bit better now that you know I don't have to always look at the flashing lights. So that is nice. But now we can actually start building our you know our house for our house. Honestly, I'm not too sure what I want to build, but I am a little bit limited on wood right now. I will eventually go back and get more wood and materials especially since i now know how to get in here but i feel like just because we have a ton of stone on us i can just like use these stone walls it's not gonna look the best but if i end up making like a castle like a whole castle village down here i feel like that's gonna be really really cool so i'm just gonna place these castle walls all the way around just like that and I feel like that is going to be good. But what I also could end up doing is maybe adding some of these guys. I can add these guys on like the corners just like that. Okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then I just need to kind of fill in this area as well. And what I honestly might end up doing is break this. And I can add a little gate right here just so we have an entrance. And I, the reason I am putting it all the way over here is because like that the pool right and that is backwards but because the pool's in the way i can't put it in the center or else you know they, we're not gonna have enough room right so i want to put it right here just so we have a good amount of room and honestly i don't think it will look too bad being like offset so that is fine and why is there a gap right there i think that's just the floor so i'm not gonna worry about it too much but honestly i feel like that looks pretty good so far and now what I want to do is kind of bring it in and I'm not going to just make like a square. I kind of want to like, you know, make it look halfway decent. So I'm going to start bringing it in and I'll end up placing. Okay, that's an interior wall, so I can't use that one. Those are all interiors and I need to come up here for exteriors. Okay, perfect. I'm going to place this like that and then we can bring this one wall in and then we should be able to just, you know, start actually building the base. So we'll do like that and then I'll place one more. I feel like that is deep enough. I can have like a little like outside area I don't just have to have it fully enclosed But once you walk in you will like see this area right here So we need to make something cool. I feel like I do want to make like a, a big tower So what I think I'm gonna do is grab some stairs and I guess these are the best stairs We have for like castles, but I'm gonna end up placing them right here Just like this and I don't know if I should do two wide or one wide I, I feel like one wide is big enough and now yeah that that should be fine But now I need to grab a floor so you know We can turn around on this thing and that should be good And now I'm gonna add the back wall just so you know, I don't fall off I do not want to fall off 
So I'm gonna grab this back wall and we can start placing this thing down. So I feel like something like this, but this honestly might be too big. I'm gonna quickly break this and see how it looks with just one stair in the middle. And then we'll, we'll kind of go from there just because I feel like that kind of looks too big. Um, but yeah, I'll break this really quick and then we can kind of check it out and we'll go from there Okay, so I ended up placing one stair in between and I feel like this looks much much better So I'm gonna end up doing this but we do need to fix the wall right here and Okay, we just need one little piece So we need to go like that and now we can start bringing this wall in so I do need to flip this this way and now I just kind of want to fully enclose it and make sure, you know, there is no gaps. All right, so I ended up placing all of the walls and I also placed this little door. I feel like this door looks pretty cool and it like leads up here. And then I think I'm going to bring this up a decent amount and then we'll make a little watchtower at the top. But now what I need to do is come over here and I think I'll end up making a, a window over on this side. And I kind of just have to break it and see like the size of the windows that we have. And we'll kind of go from there. So we have a few different windows. Maybe something like that would look good. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that right there is pretty good. And then we can also come in here and then grab just these one by ones just like that and there we go so I'm gonna build this all the way up and then also bring the stairs all the way up and we'll kind of see how it looks from there and then we can start building the rest of the castle as well something I just realized also is literally I could have made a prefab so I placed a prefab over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish my build and we will see how it turns out and then I'll finish this build over here and we'll kind of compare and see which one's better but now I need to somehow get out of here and try and go get like like, you know more materials so something I think I'm gonna be able to do okay get, I don't need I don't need to build the prefab right here but what I think I should be able to do is come over here and maybe place the bed just like that and if I sleep in this bed it should allow me to just you know fall through and okay that put me down back where I was and that put me back where I was and okay I think it's just putting me right back where I was and oh my gosh am I stuck now Okay, no, 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 I'm not. Okay, I made my, I made it one step closer. We are now in a halfway. So, you know, I got, I got halfway through. And now I should be able to just place the bed, like, right here. Just like that. And I should be able to sleep in this bed. And boom, there we go. Okay, so I think I got a pretty reliable way on how to get in and out of the cave, which should be right here. I'm going to leave the bed right there just so it's kind of like a marker so I know how to get in and out. But now I can go and get materials to actually finish my build. So I'm going to quickly go do that and then we can jump right back into the cave. Also, if you guys made it this far in the video and want to watch me do more dumb stuff like risk my world to like build a base underground, which is actually kind of cool. I haven't seen anybody make a base under here yet. So I'm like uh, world's first pretty much just saying don't quote me on it because I don't really know. But as far as I know, I'm the only one. So. If you do want to see more of my videos, go down below, hit the subscribe button. At 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to be flipping a coin. And if the coin lands on heads, I'm going to be doing a face reveal. So at 50K, there's a 50% chance that 50 does a face reveal. So if you wanted to see that or, you know, just support the cause, you know, go down below, subscribe. And while you're down there, might as well like the video, guys. I mean, it, it never hurts to like the video. And comment down below, son. I don't know the name of this skin. I, I'm guessing it's something to do with a son, and he kind of looks like a son. So every person that comments down, son, I will be giving a heart on their comment so yeah go go down below and do that if you want a heart on your comment you don't have to but if you want one all right so i've made it up which means it is time to finish our little watchtower i'm gonna complete this watchtower and then we will come back and we will finish the rest of the house so i'm just gonna quickly do this really really quick i'm gonna quickly do this very quickly boom you like that i want somebody to comment down below and tell me how many times i said quickly throughout this video because i think i said it a lot so my watchtower is complete, but now I think I need to add some lighting. So I'm going to just place like one light right there. And then we could probably place one over here by this window just like that. And I think that will give it just a little bit more lighting that we need. I think I might end up adding a window on one of these sides. I don't know which one, but I think eventually I will add a window right there. But now it is time to start maybe finishing the rest of the build. So if I come over here, I need to grab some walls. And with these walls, obviously, I'm just going to place them all the way around. So I ended up adding this gate, and I actually like the way it turned out. But I think what I'm going to do is add a little, like, canopy right here. I'm not going to, like, fully close it in. But I do want to at least add, like, some sort of roof. I don't think I'm going to add any walls, but I will add just, like, a little bit of a roof. So if we come in roofs, I should be able to add maybe something like this just on the backside over here. 
And what I will probably end up doing is, do they have a corner piece? If they have a corner piece, I'll end up putting it over here. If So it does not look like they have a hip. And if they actually do and I don't have it unlocked, which I feel like they should, it makes sense. Or I guess there's none of these. I don't know. Okay, now, now I'm just a little bit confused. But what I am going to do is just, you know, add a very simple roof. And I do not want that corner. I want the opposite corner, just like this. And I should be able to move it like right there should be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. And now we can kind of add the rest of the roof. So if I come in here and I just have to find the perfect pieces wherever they are, I can never find the right pieces that I'm looking for, but I should be able to just place this all the way along the roof just like this. And I think I'm going to end up adding like one of these right there. That looks pretty cool and it fits perfectly. So now we can start adding our little canopy area. And what I think I'm going to do for that is just use like a normal floor, maybe just like this medieval castle floor. But I do want to make sure that it will kind of line up the way I want it to. So if I move it all the way over, I feel like I should put it like right there. And then we can move it all the way over here. And perfect. That literally lines up perfectly. So now we can just place these all the way, all the way along the roof, just like this. And I should be able to make it just as I want. I feel like these should fit perfectly. So there we go with our canopy placed. I do want to end up adding a little wall right here. So I hope the half wall is the perfect height for this. If it's not, I'm going to be uh, a little confused on what I should use, but okay. Yeah, I feel like this should be perfect. And I do want to just make sure it is fully flush. So yeah, that should work perfectly. And now I can just place these along the wall just like that. And I should be able to grab this one piece and make it perfectly flush. Okay, perfect. And I feel like that looks pretty good. If anything, I'm going to add a couple support beams. And for support beams, I think I'm just going to use this normal wooden one. And just like that, we have our little canopy area. And I think our castle is nearly done. I wonder what else I should add. I definitely should add something else. I don't know what though. And oh my gosh, this light is so bright. Um, what I think I'm going to end up doing is adding a little trim along the top up here. All right, so there we go. We added the trim all the way around the base, and now it should be fully complete. I do need to add a couple more things. I might add, like, you know, a little workbench right here and a couple different, like, machines in here. Now I want to go on to build this big castle over here, and I do want to see how much it takes. So I believe I ended up building this tower manor right here, and it looks like we will have the perfect amount of materials. So that's... That is very nice, but I wonder if I place it backwards. It looks like I ended up placing it backwards. Yo, what? What just happened? Okay, this is not good. I, I, yo, I, I was completing my build and I just randomly died. I don't know. Maybe I didn't eat. I didn't think I, oh my gosh. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention, so, but dude, I would have had to be starving for like 10 minutes. I was just like mindlessly building that that castle. Oh no, where does it spawn me? Uh, this is going to be interesting. Like I said, guys, don't do this. You're doing this at your own risk. Don't listen to me for any advice. Um... This is, this is purely just entertainment, so we'll see where it spawns me. I don't know. All right, let's see where we spawned. Um, okay, wait, 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 that is really confusing. So I have all of my, you know, my, my tools and everything, but I think I spawned all the way back at, like, the world spawn. So I honestly have no idea what just happened, but now it's going to take me probably, like, 10, 15 minutes to go run all the way back. I need to figure out where I am really quick. Okay, there's my, there's my original village over there, which, I mean, if you guys never seen this village, um, this is my first ever village. So I guess I'll show you that really quick, but it'll probably take me about 10, 15 minutes to get all the way back. So yeah, this is my first ever village right here. If you guys have not seen this, I mean, this is a exclusive first look right here. Not really because it, it, this was my 100 days village, which I ended up clearing out like a lot of the stuff in here. But also while I'm running back to, you know, my, my normal village and everything, if you guys have not seen, there's been a lot of leaks, not a lot of leaks. There's been a few leaks on Twitter of the upcoming, you know, update for Lego Fortnite, which it should be the 23rd. That's the speculated date right now. But all of the stuff being leaked so far, there's a ton of new like items like tools and weapons they are coming out with new hammers which there's a new hammer in every single rarity which if i had a guess 
it's gonna be used to like you know break like all of these stones and like granite and then all of like uh amber ruby and stuff like that i feel like it's gonna be like mainly used to break those items if i had a guess it would probably swing slower than a pickaxe but it's gonna pretty much one shot everything if i had a guess i could be completely wrong but that's just what I think it's going to do. Also, there's this new ore called Rift Ore, which is, it's kind of like galaxy, like looking ore. And then there's also another new machine that is going to come out and that will be cool. I think it's going to be used to like cut and refine the galaxy ore or whatever it's called, the Rift Ore or the Rift uh, Shards, I think they're called. Then there's also like tons of new mobs, which should be pretty cool and then and then there's a couple like npcs i think there's three npcs right now that we're gonna be able to talk to um there's like a wolf a raccoon and then something else i forget what the other one is but we'll be able to talk to each one of these people and i think they're gonna give us kind of like missions and quests to go on which will be super nice that will give us a ton of new content i have not seen anything on new buildings so i don't know about buildings i mean i'm sure they're gonna add something to the shore biome but honestly don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think they're adding other than like what's already been released or if you guys heard that other things are being released that i didn't mention comment them down below and let me know if you're excited for the update as well personally i'm super excited i hope it brings a lot of new content all right so i have made it back and this time i uh i'm i don't think i'm gonna go up there so i'm not gonna finish this build but we can kind of see the difference between both builds and something i did remember is if i break this right here you can literally go under the castle and i feel like this is such a cool thing to have under the castle you can put so many things down here i've literally have not seen anybody use this area so like that's pretty cool but other than that, you know, it's a very basic castle. You know, it's got a stairway right here, but it also has this stairway right here, which I feel like they did their stairway just so much better than mine. If I saw this stairway before I actually like, you know, made my castle, I would have probably done it that way. But I still really like my castle just because, you know, it's got the canopy. I like how open it is and the fences are super, super cool. But I do want to end up building as far up as I can. And when we build up as far as we can, we should be able to see, I gotta be careful. And just like that, you can literally see the entire map. Like this is so cool. So we have all, oh, never mind. 